Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Today we will be discussing about the business strategies of Abdurrahman ibn Auf radiallahu anhu. He was one of the richest companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he was one of the ten persons who Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said would enter Jannah. When Abdurrahman ibn Auf arrived in Medina following his migration, he had left all his possessions in Mecca and had no money at all. So he had to start from zero. Almost 70 Muslims with their families migrated to Medina and he was one of them. So upon arriving in Medina, Rasulullah has coupled him with Saad bin Ar-Rabi'ah who was one of the wealthiest men of Medina. Saad bin al rabia was willing to sacrifice his fortune and family for Allah's pleasure and to donate it to his Muslim brother, Abdurrahman ibn Auf. But Abdurrahman ibn Auf said him to show him the market. Uh, it is said that Abdurrahman ibn Auf has begun his uh, business with only two to four dinars. There are three top business strategies of Abdurrahman ibn Auf. Number one is using cash. He always used cash in his business. He constantly paid cash for products and sold them for cash. There were no credit deals. And number two is he never stocked anything or waited for a greater profit. This second component of Abdurrahman ibn Auf's business plan is that he attempted to avoid storing products and selling them on a higher profit. He didn't do it. He always sold the product even if he had only a penny in profit. So it had a high degree of cash flow. And number three is he was always truthful in his dealings. The third rule of Abdurrahman ibn Auf's business approach is he never hid any flaws in his products. He told his customer if his good was good or if it wasn't good, then he has showed the product to the customer and he was very truthful and trustworthy. This honesty in business has made him one of the richest businessmen, companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.